Hey TJ. Happy Friday. With Black History Month coming to an end. Here are some fun facts. The first novel published by a black author was published in 1853. Hattie McDaniel was the first black person to win an Oscar. Wow, those are amazing facts. Here's the third skit made by BSA. Oh my god. Okay, finally. Oh, thank God for this elevator. If I had to take the stairs, I would have taken somebody out with me along the way. With all this luggage. Oh. Ouch, my back is killing me. Whoa, whoa. Ouch, ouch. Ouch is right. Taking an elevator without doors is like hopping on a roller coaster without restraints. Thanks to Alexander Miles, we don't have to worry about falling out of a moving elevator like this guy. Miles, born in May 18, 1838 in Circleville, Ohio, is a black inventor of automatic elevator doors. After being aware of the multiple dangers and deaths from inadequate elevator doors, Miles sought out to solve this problem. Miles attached a flexible belt to the elevator cage, which touched drums positioned along the elevator shaft directly above and below the floors. This allowed for the elevator shaft doors to operate at the correct times. Subsequently, Miles was rightfully granted a patent for his invention on October 11, 1887. With Miles' innovative life-saving invention, let's see what would have happened instead. Thank God for this elevator. If I had to take the stairs, I would have taken somebody out with me with all this, oh my God, luggage. My back hurts, ouch, whoa. Thanks to Alexander Miles. We don't have to worry about falling to our dead side of a moving elevator, but more so face planning on a safe and reliable elevator door. Wow, thanks guys. Let's send it to admin. Good morning, Spartans. Miss Hamill here. It's going to be a big weekend. I just want to wish good luck to DECA, good luck to boys basketball, and for those of you who have Saturday school, starts 8 o'clock, 8 to 11. Please be here, catch up, get those Fs out of the way, and we'll finish strong. Have a great day. Hey, TJ Spartans, it's Miss Lupo here. Quick announcement about the parking lot. So again, please make sure that if you recently got your license, that you are emailing me if you're gonna be driving to school regularly, a picture of your license, registration, and proof of insurance. Once I get all of that information, I'm gonna email you a time to come pick up your parking tag. Seniors, if you still have not done that, Expect a nice orange sticker on your car by the end of the day. Thank you so much. Have a great day, TJ. Hey, everybody. It's Miss B. I'm here because I wanted to announce that Black Girls Rock will be having a vision board party next Wednesday. Once again, Black Girls Rock will be having a vision board party next Wednesday here in the past room. We will be in the past room this Wednesday coming in. We will be providing lunch. I need you to come see me if you're planning on coming to the vision board party to order lunch. I need you to come see me. Please come see me so we can cater to your needs. Once again, Black Girls Rock Wednesday vision board party. See you in the hallways, TJ. Seniors, in your Future Center TJFC 2024 Schoology course, you will find many resources to help you with your college process. A list of scholarship highlights will be posted weekly in addition to information about college rep, visits, college fairs, and major deadlines. If you haven't yet met with your DSF college counselor, please drop by the Future Center to say hi and ask questions. That's all for today. Let's send us the news. We're here with the news. MLB players are mad about the new see-through pants. Now, taking news away from sports, there is planning underway for potentially more migrants from Denver to Colorado Springs. Moving the news back to sports, Russian Olympic Committee has lost the appeal against a suspension by the International Olympic Committee. Now, sadly, there wasn't much news going on today, so it's a short news segment. Or at least we think it's short. Uh, thank you. And bye, TJ. Hey TJ, it's going to be a low of 28 and a high of 53, and this weekend's going to be sunny. Hey TJ, 
it's Breck and Aiden for the last time this week. Hey Breck. Yeah. Wasn't there something due on Monday? Uh, I think so, but remind me, what was it? This coming Monday is the very last possible day to register for spring sports. Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. Get on top of that, TJ. Make sure you pay and upload your physical to the Spartan Athletic website. Do not wait to the last minute. That's it from us, let's hear from sports. Hey TJ, it's Noah. And Dora with the sports for the last time this week. Shout out to Unify for getting the W for South yesterday at lunch. The boys basketball team is in the Sweet 16. We have our second round playoff game tomorrow at 1 at Windsor. Come support if you guys can. If you can't make the game, you can catch it on Windsor's YouTube. In professional news, the Avs lost an OT and the Nuggets crushed the Wizards. Jokic recorded another triple-double, which means that he has a triple-double versus every other team in the NBA. The Nuggets play again tonight on the road versus Portland. That's all for sports today, TJ. Have a good day, TJ. What's up? It's Jake from Boys Basketball, and we have a game tomorrow at Windsor at 1. Windsor's pretty far away, so wish everybody luck. Macalena Rosão, traz a lenha pro fogão, vem fazer armação. Hoje um dia de sol, alegria do cuyo, é curtir o verão. I gotta watch out, man. These guys are kicking behind me. I gotta go. Ai! Ah, just kidding. That's just a picture. <laughs> Yo! Bom dia, boa sexta, happy Friday, buenos dias, feliz viernes, gente. Hoy tenemos capoeira, something a little different. We're having a capoeira class today, Friday. Please meet me in my room, 210. En el salón 210, nos vamos a encontrar en mi salón, gente. So, cáenle ahí después de clases, salimos que hoy, 3.35, cáenle ahí, 3.45, ya vamos a estar con toda la buena vibra. Todas las boas vibras, we're going to be with all the good vibes here, so, all right, TJ. Nos vemos, muy toaché. And happy Friday, Feliz Sesta. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Geez, these are a plethora of microphones. Nah, bro, there's not even that many. There's only five. Hi there. TJ, I have a big, big announcement. Uh, that's right. Starting next month, you've got it. It's You Don't Know Jack, the game show. We are giving away prizes galore uh we're we're seeking out the best and the brightest the the trivia masters the people who know things that they that they shouldn't know um and we are going to hook you up with gear with gift cards might even be some cash so that is coming next month uh when you see me in the hallway ask about it but today we've got our last Black History Month giveaway, right? We've got a gift card. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm debating, right? I, I've got some. I've got a bunch of gift cards. I'll let you pick. But here's how this works. Today, our question is this: I'm about to show you three images. The first person who sends me the email of the name of these three images, you will give that get that gift card, right? So. Here they are. There you go. I need to know who these three people are. If you send those to me, I'm going to show up to your class with a gift card. Uh, it, it might be something amazing. I mean, it might be Popeye's on a Tuesday, right? But I will come to your room and let you know personally, even though... Everyone else in here doesn't. You, my friend, just might know Jack, son. Hey, it's your senior editors. Usually we're behind the computer editing the whole Spartan edition, but today let's take it to the streets. If a plane crashes in the border of the U.S. and Canada, where do you bury their survivors? I don't know. You don't bury them, their survivors. <laughs> if you have a bowl with six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? Like trick questions. <laughs> what two keys can't open any door? Uh, a monkey and a donkey. What? 
How can a man go outside in the pouring rain without protection and not have a head, um, not have a hair on his head get wet? Me, because you'll be bald. What has a face and two hands but no arms or legs? Abraham. Correct. What can one catch that is not thrown? A disease. <laughs> good job. Good job. What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? Candy and hot Cheetos. Lunch and dinner.